Whether you wanted it to be or not, crypto is just going crazy. And meme coins are front and center from coins like Bowden and Dog with Hat. The DGENs are back. The DGENs have awoken. Today we're gonna to be looking at some of these meme coins and digging deeper into one meme coin in particular, which aims to be the next big meme coin. I'm Vosk, you're on the Vosk on YouTube channel. We talked about Bonk recently and the crazy metric of the people that ordered the Solana phone basically get a free phone with the Bonk airdrop that was put onto those uh, with the way that Bonk has ascended to be a top 100 cryptocurrency when ranked by CoinMarketCap. It's two freaking billion dollars. You may have counted Solana out. Well, whether you love or hate that chain, regardless of how many times it just completely breaks and stops, it's got a $75 billion market cap. It's trading at 170 a coin. It's the fifth biggest cryptocurrency and ranked by coin market cap. I'm feeling bullish. I can't remember the last time I knocked out seven uh, <laughs> candies in a row, which is like your login bonus on CoinGecko, because I just haven't been all that fixated on prices over the last several months. I've been fixated on getting into my positions, right? Loading up on coins, uh, building the Voscoin mining farm, working on the Voscoin YouTube channel, and less about daily price action, but that is quickly changing. Enter Honk, who made today's video possible. They weaponized a goose. Uh, and if you've ever played Untitled Goose Game, well, that's a fun game. And they cite that as their direct inspiration, which by the way, the game is Couch Co-op, which is very cool and kind of a lost art in this era. Bonk is a meme coin based off the Doge Bonk meme. And Honk is basically a meme of a meme, but kind of trying to pull in those goose meme roots. And I almost feel ridiculous explaining all of this, but let me remind you that we have meme coins that are top 100 cryptocurrencies in the world. So again, whether you love them or hate them, it's gonna be a conversation we're gonna have here and there. They launched out of the gate with two different games, which was interesting and nice to see. Dog with Hat has been going just absolutely crazy uh, ballistic. I mean, that, that coin ran and then when you thought it was gonna stop running, it just kept going and going and going. Fourth largest meme coin and their community just completed some fundraising. Honk is trading at about one, almost two cents right now. CoinGecko reports a market cap of $16 million and $3 million in 24 hour trading volume, as well as a circulating uh, supply reported to them by their team. This coin is up a freaking mind melting 11,000% in the last two months. And you see that stuff and you just wonder like, how do these crypto DGENs just keep doing it? You know, you start to get jealous, you start to get envious, you start to get angry, you start to get FOMO. And that's bull run vibes. It also hit its all time high per track on CoinGecko here six days ago. It's down 53% from then up 115% in the last 30 days. Uh, so when we zoom out three months, you can see crazy, crazy price movement here. Dogecoin's bouncing off the charts and news right now too because Elon Musk is asking, yo, should we enable Dogecoin payments for Tesla? He knows exactly what he's doing and honestly, I've got a bag of Doge, so I'm fine with it. Go ahead, Mr. Elon. Floki Inu, which we recently did a full video on, has gotten some buzz here as well, and I'll dig more into that in another one. But it's kind of like there was Dogecoin, and then Shiba Inu had success on the tail of Dogecoin. You see what I did there? And then Floki had success on the tail of Shiba Inu. So it's just a Doge freaking party who let the dogs out. Let the ducks out. Going over to Honk's website, though, to bring it back to the meme corner, really deep digging, deep digging, not the exact word combo I was looking for, but it's, it's the word combo we ended up with. Mess with honk, you get the bonk. The audacious goose that originated from the viral video game Untitled Goose Game. This goose wants to be a boss. I respect that. You go to the site, there's not too much going on here, right? It's a basic site, a couple memes, some information here, and links out to their games on Google Play Store, and a looped video of a goose hitting a doge. And as a proud doge dad, I don't love that, uh, but th that's kind of really all there is here, all there is to it. They have a Telegram group, Twitter, 
email, live chart link, contract. Uh, so we have tutorial guides on how to use Solana and set up Phantom Wall and things like that. And it's easier than ever uh, to do all this stuff because MetaMask also supports the Solana blockchain now with their Snap stuff. Uh, I'm already logged in here with Phantom. All right, and let me just show you what a trade looks like. So you put in whatever amount you want. I tried to trade earlier at 0.5% slippage, it failed, so I upped it to 5% slippage. You click swap. I don't like how it auto logs you out while you still have an active session. MetaMask does not do that. Uh, so we look at the network fee. 0.00012 soul. Okay, so let's confirm that. Bam, transactions already through. The benefits of a fast, quick, cheap, centralized network though. Uh, how much did I pay for that? 0 0.00012. I paid two cents, okay? I would pay like 20 fucking dollars to do that on Ethereum. Ethereum is just trash, it's broken. And, and I saw a quote the other day, the best, and it summarizes so well, anybody buying Ethereum does not actually use Ethereum. It's just obvious. Granted, I have some Ethereum, obviously, like who is in cryptocurrency doesn't probably have some Ethereum. You buy it based on the speculation of like where it goes and all the layer twos built on it and, and just its staying power, you know, a bunch of factors, but like you don't buy it for the fact that it's actually a good blockchain to use. It's ridiculously expensive. Uh, it's grossly expensive to use. I mean, it's more expensive than fiat legacy systems. That's not good. And just like that, I grabbed 93 honks. This is on Jupiter. It's a decentralized exchange aggregator. So you can see the routing right here. We can also pull up honk on Dex tools and uh, we could do the same thing and make a trade here. What I thought was interesting, digging around on the information we could extract here, is there has been nearly 5,000 buys in the last 24 hours and 3,500 sells. I mean, this is a lot of trading activity. If we go out over the last seven days, you can just sit there and guess because it's not pulling all that data, but it does pull the data of 29 million. Just in the last hour, you can see almost 100 buys and 67 uh, sales there and just a whole bunch of shrimp activity. Where are the whales at? A whale somewhere over the last day did dump 12 grand. So digging around, looking for more information on Honk because the website really isn't all that much. The main thing I keep finding is pretty much this PR news release. Uh, and this went out almost two months ago now, which is interesting. And it's not too far off from their all time low. And on the heels of their PR release, which is you know, like marketing campaign, and I'm sure they had more initiatives going on at that time as well. Very sharp price increase. And it's really been trending upward since then. And by the way, as a Doge Dad, I don't like this meme. Not this one. Too far. Pulling up Honk on Soul Scan, which is kind of like Ether Scan uh, for the Solana blockchain, uh, we can see that there's 13,000 holders of this cryptocurrency. And you can also just check some on chain data here. You take this contract address for this token, you punch it into different contract scanners, uh, you don't normally get a result, right? When we punch this into DeFi scanner, this Solana token is not supported for scanning since the source code is closed and verified. And unfortunately, there's not as many good tools to check out tokens and things like that as there are for Ethereum and EVM, Ethereum virtual machine chains, like all the ETH forks, like most of the other blockchains. Uh, but the tokens on Solana, I'm not saying they're safe, but they are safer by the nature of their design than an Ethereum token. Uh, without going into the weeds of all of that. And remember, I'm not a developer, it's not investment advice. Uh, 7,400 subscribers in the honk, the bonk killer, Telegram group, which is their official group. Looking at DeFi Llama, some on-chain metrics. I mean, the Solana blockchain, you know, it was easy to count out a couple years ago, has been on a huge resurgence. It continues to just go up and up and up. And look at this sharp increase in just the last month. All right, it's doubled. And it's doubled a $1 billion plus dollar market cap. So what do you think about Hong? Per Dex tools, it's got $1 million in liquidity, about 14,000 holders, $3 million in trading volume in the last 24 hours, and a total market cap of 20 million with a circulating supply of basically a billion tokens, uh, as reported by the team, and they have not done any sort of verification on that. Gosh dang it, who's trended Bowden again? <laughs> so funny. 
Oh man, what a Tuzla. It's just straight meme coins trending on the hot pairs on, on Dex Tools. That's it on Mexi. And while Mexi is not my first exchange of choice, it is good to have more cryptocurrency exchange options. And that's an exchange that US citizens can use uh, without KYCing. Uh, so that's always great because it's very difficult to trade some cryptocurrencies outside of decentralized exchanges in this era if you're in the United States. I think this stuff's funny. It's easy to get mad at meme coins and whatever. Uh, but all I can do is just sit here and laugh and try to, you know, get my DGen on a little bit here and there. I am happy to dig into a project while the market cap is still so low. But remember, like, who's the team? Anonymous. What's going to happen? What does the future hold? Nobody knows, right? And that's why when tokens like this actually do take off and reach a billion dollar market cap, the early participants are heavily rewarded. But remember, for every meme coin that goes to be a top 100 coin, there's literally 100 that don't. The odds are not in our favor, but it doesn't mean that it's still not all that interesting to keep playing the gosh dang game. Uh, so I'm Vosk. I am a professional degen. Uh, this is Tails. She is our CDR chief degen officer here in the Vosco on YouTube channel. She gives two paws down on Honk because well, they're trying to kill her. Uh, and that's kind of to be expected. I do think this is like a simple, in a good way, play on Bonk from, you know, just changing one letter to something that makes sense. It's memeable. It's different, but similar. That's like understandable and relatable to the basic degen mindset what's gonna happen where it's gonna go i don't know i just know that you should be subscribing to the bosco on youtube channel if nothing else thanks for watching and uh that's all i got i hope to see you on the next video as well